The most common question from readers of my previous book, The Blade of Safavid, was and is, is the story about the pirate Henry Avery Real, was he historical or a fiction? And then, was the surgeon historical or a fiction? Questions like these soon made it evident the blend of fiction and fact drove many readers to their devices to search history. So, this time around, with my new upcoming book, The Conquest of Liberty, and the series that it follows, I plan to share short bios about each of the true historical figures that have either cameo appearances or featured roles. Follow over the next number of weeks and learn what you've forgotten or never learned in your high school history class. For, your true, for you true historians, just come along for the ride and let me know if I stray too far in my fictional characterizations. I start with Hernando de Talavera. Now when the story begins, Hernando is the Archbishop of Granada in Spain, appointed to that position by the monarch Isabella I of uh, Fernando and Isabella fame who sent Columbus off to discover America, yes, the Catholic monarchs. Archbishop Talavera was a product of his education and experience. The Catholic Church was Talavera's life from his earliest age. He believed in the Church's absolute authority. This belief never wavered. If there was a true good guy during the changing religious conflicts of the time, Talavera was him. Talavera was well educated. Historical consensus is that he came from a converso family, or in other words, his family were Catholic converts. This background might explain his special sensitivity towards other conversos regarding their conversion from Islam and Judaism. Now, during his tenure as Archbishop in Granada, he instituted policies which emphasized the importance of education of Catholic doctrine. He even translated the Latin Mass into Arabic. The priests under his stewardship learned Arabic so they could teach the Moors of Granada in their own language. His advocacy of conversion through persuasion rather than force, combined with his serious misgivings about the efficacy of the Inquisition, put him in the crosshairs of inquisitors and the baptism by force officials. Now, despite his exemplary life, at 78 years old, officials of the Holy Office of the Spanish Inquisition arrested their own archbishop as a heretic. Only through a papal bull, which was a demand by Pope Julius II, was Archbishop Hernando Talavera released from prison. Now, during his more than a year in prison, where he suffered intense persecution, it broke him physically. Many of his family and friends fared worse. They were executed by burning at the stake. Archbishop Hernando Talavera passed away within a month following his release. 